Well, I think they're going to try to outdo each other. Uh, who can be more extreme, who can sign the, the fringe extremist uh, agenda faster. State Democratic Party Chairman Ray Buckley will be keeping a close eye on tonight's Republican debate at St. Anselm College. There's certainly going to be a lot of talk tonight uh, about the economy and certainly uh, that uh, the economy is not where it needs to be. Uh, not every American who wants a job uh, has a job and will continue working towards that. But the plans that you're going to hear tonight with the Republicans uh, compared to what uh, the president has are entirely different. Buckley says the economy is turning around to a point now where job growth is noticeable. And he singled out former Massachusetts Governor Mitt Romney's record, saying when Romney was governor, the Bay State ranked 47th in job growth. State Democrats also expect Medicare to be a hot topic among the seven debaters. I'm expecting to hear about their reckless plan to change Medicare as we know it. The Republican plan, which all of the debaters, except for Ron Paul, who doesn't think it goes far enough, have bought into, will ask um, people in New Hampshire and across the country to wait longer to qualify for Medicare, to get fewer guaranteed benefits from Medicare. State Democrats will also be joined tonight by former White House Press Secretary Robert Gibbs, who is expected to address the media in defense of the Obama administration. And Buckley also singled out Tim Pawlenty today specifically about tax rates and state budget deficit. We also understand that some Democratic supporters against tonight's debate are just now starting to arrive on campus. We will have their reaction for you coming up tonight at 11. Josh, we'll send things back outside to you. All right, Adam, thanks very much. Now, a group that wants the government to protect Medicare and Medicaid is also in town tonight to make sure that their voice is heard during tonight's debate. Now, the group is called, it's a political action group called Protect Your Care. It's running television ads also and holding demonstrations at the debate. Their message has full of parts. First, they want politicians to leave Medicaid and Medicare alone, and they also want to thank Republican presidential hopeful Mitt Romney for the health care plan that he instituted in Massachusetts. This is something that, you know, seniors are really counting on. It's something that's worked well for decades, and it's something, you know, that doesn't really need to be. There's no reason to change it. It gets seniors the help they need. It gets them the prescription drugs they need, and it's been working well for decades, and, you know, there's no reason to take it away from seniors. If you're wondering about an endorsement, a spokesman for the organization says that they will support any candidate, Republican or Democrat, who believes in keeping Medicare and Medicaid intact.